Okay, welcome back to It Is What It Is, a 4G Opinion Show. Okay, uh, I want to speak on this because I keep hearing left and right about this. You know, because people, they was waiting for it to happen. Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj break up. You know what I mean? Uh, it's out there. She made it known that they're separated. And you can see, like, it, as you can tell, before I say what I really want to say about this, um, you can tell that Meek didn't want to put it out there. Because on reality, they could have separated and didn't even tell everybody. But obviously, she wanted to put it out there for a reason. You know what I mean? She wanted to make it known and wanted to be the one to make the announcement and say it. I guess she said, before he said it, let me say it. So, no telling how he going to do it. You know what I mean? But, um... You know, as far as how he reacted to controversies and situations, you know what I mean, uh, dealing with Drake and all that, but make a long story short, um, I say this, you know, uh, no matter how you want to look at it, Meek is not worried about Nicki Minaj, man. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that he doesn't love her. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that he doesn't, you know, like as far as, um, obviously they created some type of bond. But same time, y'all know how I feel about, like I said in my past interviews, how I feel about uh, relationships as far as in the industry, as far as Hollywood or celebrity or in the rap industry, stuff like that. It's just like, uh, God bless him. I don't, I don't expect it to last. So anyone that does last, salute them. Tip my head to that. Like I said, I, I liked how Nicki Minaj and Meek looked together. It grew on me. First, it seemed like a Mitch Mac when I first seen it with each other. It's like, huh? Mm, okay. You know what I mean? With me, myself, like I always said, I'm happy to see Meek reach any peak that he reached in, in, in the game. I love to see a brother, especially coming from Philly, you know, he was repping South Philly and North Philly, but however you want to put it, Philly Parrot. Because I've repped the whole Philly even though I'm North Philly. But make a long story short, I mean, I, I love to see a brother successful. That's why I interviewed Meek when I interviewed him. You know what I mean? Out of all the times we did shows, I mean, like, you know, uh, we met during the shows and stuff like that, things of that nature. We was around each other, VIP and all that with Gilly and all them. I took it upon myself to interview him because I wanted to see him get where he's at. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, Meek is not worrying about Nicki Minaj. You know how you really can certify that? Because Meek didn't just look at Nicki Minaj as I found, you know, I finally found that soulmate. You know what I mean? He didn't look at her as on that note. You know what me looked at her as? As an accomplishment. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Basically, okay, Jay-Z, say he got the best rapper, the best female in the game. Okay, now I'm bragging I got the best female in the game. You know what I mean? Best looking female in the game that's popping right now. Same way as she was with the best you know, younger in the game that's popping right now, like as far as music wise and being successful because everything's all centered around Meek. You know what I mean? Rap drama and all that crap. And he's fresh, you know, fresh as far as success, just, you know, getting in his, he in his prime, in his position. So it goes both ways on that. You know? But um, on that note, like I said, he, he didn't look at her as that. You know, you can tell. It's, on a, it's about accomplishment. So when a man looks at another woman as an accomplishment, instead of, you know, on some, we're going to be together forever soulmate tip, when a man looks at a woman as an accomplishment, guess what? If, she come, if it comes to her leaving him, guess what? His motto is going to be, I came, I saw, and I conquered. 
You know what I mean? Either way, you, you walk off, you leave me, you can go back to Safari if you want. But guess what? I accomplished it. I did it. How many of you other rap cats can say you hit it? You know what I mean? I'm still getting my bag. Now, even more, I'm permitted to get any chick I want now. There's a long list of them. And no disrespect to Nicki Minaj. I'm sorry because I like her as an artist. I love her music. I'm not going to front. But it's just facts that I'm speaking. No disrespect. But another thing you can say, at least I'm going to have all real body parts now. I ain't got to be poking in the middle of the night. What is boss? Is this really like, hey, just the fact looking at it like this really ain't a real butt. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but this ain't a real butt. And breasts, matter of fact. Because our old Jones, her old picture, she ain't have barely no breasts either. But um, like I said, teachers on with that plastic surgery and all that stuff. That's an insecurity situation. I don't care what nobody say. Nicki Minaj got low self-esteem. God bless her. She got low self-esteem. I know she do. I know she do, man. As long as you can make her happy, make her laugh, stuff like that, she probably give you the world. She got low self-esteem. Don't get me wrong. A girl don't have to have low self-esteem to be a rider, to, you know what I mean, want to give you the world. You know what I'm saying? You know, as far as just period, you know, to do what a rider does. But at the same time, there are women that have low self esteem And you be wondering how they get with this bull, how could this bull get her, how this. In all reality, it is women out here that you don't know what they've been through that have low self esteem. And all they want is just that brother that's going to make them smile. You know what I mean? That, that, that's going to just be, let alone make them smile. You know? At the end of the day, they know what goes on, what can go on. You know what I'm saying? This can go left. He can one minute be messing with this girl and anything can happen. But overall, everything, they willing to step out in faith and be with a brother. That just make them smile. Just make them feel like that they're more than who they are. Make them feel special. Make them feel like the queen that they are. Bring out the best in them. At the same time, they bring out the best in you. Like Beyonce said, let me upgrade you. Upgrading each other. Like I said, I'm not I'm only speaking facts when I talk about the plastic body parts and all that. But at the same time, you know, um, at the same time, I'm just speaking, like I said, I'm just speaking the truth, man. I'm no. Like, he got it. He, he's looking at it like this. So when people looking like, oh, another L, you keep taking L's, no. He like, anyway, I'm counting this money, I'm doing the same thing I've been doing, and I'm thankful just to reach that height. I'd hit that. Did you? Have you cast lusting over her and wishing you can hit it? I did it. Now, moving on. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of other bad chicks I was thinking about hitting anyway, and I wish I could have. But I was trying to, you know, be faithful to her. Or was he? I don't know. Because in the industry, they be having these type of relationships. You know what I mean? Where they be on some, like, you know, sharing partners and stuff like that. And baby, bring me something home. I'll bring you something home. You know? It's what it is. So, but I'm speaking on facts of I know for a fact. And you can tell by the mentality me got. You ain't even got to know him for years or nothing like that. You can tell, man. This is what it is. You know what I mean? Especially when ego is involved and pride. But it's just, you know, beyond that, man. Like I said, he looked at her as accomplishment. You know? Looked at her as accomplishment, man. It's like a lot of cats, especially you ain't got to be millionaire or not or getting crazy money. But either way, and that's even more. If you ain't getting crazy money and you pull something like Beyonce or Nicki Minaj or something like that, whether they leave you today or tomorrow, I, I hit it. I, I had it. 
How many of y'all can say y'all got it? Whoever hit it, that's where I see is at, man. He came, he saw, and he conquered. He ain't worrying about her, man. So all that y'all keep trying to make it look like, oh, he took another L, and you know what I mean? And then y'all was praying for it to happen. Praying for it to happen. And half y'all ain't even got your own relationships right. Let alone walking around with chicks that ain't even a five. Let alone a nine. Walking around with four and a half, three and a halves, if that. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Speaking the truth, man. So, that's my opinion on that. Nick ain't worrying about that girl. It's accomplished, but he came, he saw, he conquered, man. Make the hoverage, baby.